live from London, England, it's theCUBE. Covering AWS Summit London 2019. Brought to you by Amazon Web Services. Welcome back to Excel London everybody. My name is Dave Vellante and you're watching theCUBE, the leader in live tech coverage. This is our one day coverage of AWS Summit London. The Cube, we go out to the events, we extract the signal of the noise, and I have recruited a co-host, Teresa Carlson, who's a friend and Vice President of Worldwide Public Sector at AWS, and we have a really special segment for you today. Uh, Anna Sargent is here, she's a computing teacher, and Charlotte, who's a student at Townley, Wait till you see what we have in store yeah. for you. Teresa, let's get it started. So, first yeah. of all, welcome. Well, Thanks so much I'm for so coming Well, and I'm so thrilled to be your co-host. Yes. I just want to tell you that right That's now. That's a first for you, yes, right? Yes, it is. I got, it finally is on got one up on Furrier. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I get to be on the cube. Hi, John. So, <laughs> so, here's the deal. So, you have this Get IT program. Tell us what that's all about, and then we'll get into it. Well. You know, we've talked about over the last few years just in general about skills, skills development, how critical it is and important for every age. And Get IT is really a continuation of what we're trying to do to create job skills around cloud computing at every age, especially in elementary and primary school years. So Get IT today, what you're going to see from both Charlotte and Anna is we did a competition there was over 160 applicants, and it got netted down to 10 schools that came here today. And then we had uh, two finalists, and then we deemed a winner, and they're going to get support and help. But also, all these schools are going to get support and help. But it's really about the experience of them learning how to utilize cloud computing in a real world application that actually matters to them, which you can also equate to kind of social responsibility which most of these young people really relate to because they want to do something that matters to them. Just tech for tech is not exciting, but tech for good is very exciting, and I think that's what you're going to hear about here today. We love to talk about tech for good, and, and Anna, you're at the heart of this, so Thank how did you. you get into this? How did you get this all started? And tell us your story. Um, well, uh, my head teacher is quite an innovative person, and um, she's been in conversations with um, Amazon and future foundations, and they came to the school with the idea last year and um, invited the school to be part of the pilot program. And so the Amazon ambassadors delivered uh, their presentation to the school in September, and as a team in the computing department, we got together and said, well, we think this is a great opportunity for girls in tech. So we actually rolled it out as an actual scheme of lessons. So the whole year eight, so that's 224 year eight students got together. They all were divided into groups of their own choice and we gave them the outline or the brief and said, you know, think of an app for good that would fulfill a social need in your community. So think about the community and um, prepare a pitch. And we then set timelines and deadlines and help them through the research and obviously spoke to Amazon, came to the London offices as well and spent some time with your colleagues in the London office and, um, you know, and then basically helped the girls pitch their final um, idea. So Charlotte, you got this prompt mm -hmm. essentially and then you took it from there. Tell us a little bit about yourself and then how this all came about and what you guys did with that prompt. And today is your birthday, so happy oh, birthday. Thank you. Congratulations. <laughs> so basically, I'm 13 at the moment, but we've been doing this project in year eight, as Anna said, um, and basically we were given the idea to make an app, and everyone was really excited initially, but we weren't too sure about what we wanted to make it on, and we were lucky enough to have the choice to choose whatever topic we wanted to make it on, and kind of decide what cause we wanted to help and the solution to help it with. And then um, we were given loads of help with the Amazon ambassadors and they really were like really kind and generous with all their help. They came to visit us and they watched our presentations um, and it really gained our confidence because we presented to the class and in front of the teachers and Amazon ambassadors. And it's been really lovely because we've been able to gain skills that we didn't have before in computing and it's gained our confidence, it's boosted it, and we've just become much like more interested in STEM and computing. Charlotte, let me ask you, what was your application about and what inspired you for the application? 
So my app was called Positivamy and we based it off of a mental health and kind of having a more positive um, outlook on life and we decided to do that topic because we thought that it was really important to students mm -hmm. to have a stress-free time in school rather than always feeling stressed and under the weather because they are have a lot of work or they're under organized and stuff like that so we believe that it was quite important to help people like that so we our features included like a planner a mood tracker and just other things to kind of keep you organized and happy throughout your school life so I'm fascinated by the adoption of this approach and were you always interested in in STEM or was it something that this catalyzed your interest in your colleagues? I was always interested in STEM and in Townley they like promote it a lot yeah, okay and they're very interested in like because it's an all-girls school we promote females and like we try to make sure that girls are interested in all subjects no matter what and it's been quite nice but I believe that it's kind of made me more interested in STEM with my classmates because we've we've had a fun experience it's not just been doing computing it's been having a fun experience we've been designing our own thing that we're passionate about so it's been really lovely in that sense okay. so please go ahead well I was gonna ask you how did you bring it together as a group what were kind of the core components that you worked on to bring the app together and then have the, the final that you got here today with so we kind of thought of the idea first about mental health that was kind of our starting point and then we um, developed it to what features we can include in the app. We made a mind map saying whatever features we wanted, what topics we wanted to cover and then we thought about the target audiences and they really helped us think about this in the boot camp that they hosted. Um, it was really helpful because Amazon ambassadors came to each kind of app and they helped us with what we could include and how to um, build on that idea so that helped us include the target audiences the ages that we wanted to target our app towards and it kind of helped us with the general theme and how many features we wanted to include because you had time pressures right so you had yeah. to make some trade-offs so how did you make those trade-offs you just talk to the potential recipients of the app or just um, sort of brainstorm yeah, we did a lot of surveys to what features people thought were the most important for our app and a lot of groups did that because it kind of, because there were a few different um, time times that we needed to get it done by. And every time we obviously had a time limit. And so we needed to put the most important features into our PowerPoints and our presentations and the um, prototypes. And so people, we did surveys and people answered what, the, what features they thought were the most important to put in the app. And then we implemented those before any other like more unnecessary ones. How did you organize your team? You know, how many pizzas did they eat? <laughs> did, yeah, did you hear about the two pizza team? Did, did Amazon talk to you about that? Amazon Web Services that if you had more than uh, more people on your team that feeds than feeds two pizzas, it's too many oh. <laughs> because that way you yeah. can move faster. We mainly decided the team because um, we got to choose like our friends to work with, and obviously. We work better with the people who we're more comfortable around, so that was quite nice that we got to decide who we worked with. But then the roles that we were given, we kind of just decided on what each person knew the most about, wanted to do research on, and then from there we kind of just carried on with the topics that we were initially started with. You, you told me something a while ago that really piqued my interest. You said you're an all-girls school, and you almost had to reverse engineer your gender because it was a little too pink. Can yeah. you talk about your thinking around a different kind of diversity? <laughs> so basically, we wanted to make the app like accept all beliefs and stuff. So that was our main focus with diversity. And we didn't really realize initially <laughs> that it was mainly quite girly. <laughs> but then when we presented our initial presentation, obviously we got through the first round where we presented to the class. But then we got some feedback from Miss and she really helped us telling us that, you know, we want to make it unisex so that it's more um, approachable for all people and all students rather than just girls' schools. And then it would have more, um, not purchases, but it would have more audience. Yeah, more, better adoption. But so. What was that? What that involved? Was it was it colors? Was it language? Was it 
What made it less girly? <laughs> I mean, it was more colors and like yeah. the whole theming of the app. Um, like the logo, we made a logo that was quite, like not young, but quite young and girly a bit. Mm -hmm. And um, it was mainly the colors though. We did like pink, which is, I mean, it's traditionally seen as girly, pink. Mm -hmm. So we tried to make it, we searched up um, like unisex colors and it was more green, purple, blue, stuff like that. Yeah. So we implemented that into our app in the second round so that it was more unisex. Last time I interviewed you, I had my pink tie and pink shirt <laughs> yes, on. Yes, so I, I liked, <laughs> I think that was good. I've got, I've got my unisex on today with my green, but one of the things that you did do that I really liked is you did the usability, which you went out and you ask individuals what features would they like the most. I think that was really important and you could of course always do that with both boys and girls yeah. and figure outs, but that was really smart. So let me ask you another question. One of the things that we do find with girls and something I've been passionate about is they don't get into STEM or technology mm -hmm. and they don't stay there. After going through this experience, one, do you think you might be more um, inclined to stay with technology? And then I'd like to just know your opinion on how we could continue to forward this with girls after this experience. What else would you recommend? Yeah, so as I said earlier, Townley like promote STEM massively. They have STEM days and everything. So the girls at our school, we are really interested in it. This project has like really boosted my confidence and like my interest in STEM though, because it's, as I said, it's made it more fun. Yeah. It's not only just doing the computing work, it's yeah. made it a fun way to do it. And you're working for, you're targeting towards an achievement at the end to yeah. get that app made. So everyone's trying really hard to get it done. And that kind of gains your knowledge and then you learn all the new technology as you're going along. So it's quite interesting. What are your thoughts on that, Anna? Yeah. I mean, we're always having this discussion on theCUBE. Um, you look around this show, yeah. it's an amazing show, yeah, first of all. But, yeah. but a lot of men here. The line out the men's yeah. room is huge. <laughs> <laughs> and so, because in a male-dominated industry, you look inside your own circles, yes, uh, yeah. and your circles happen to be you know, other men. So, so it's a challenge that we want to surface and be aware yeah, of. What, yeah. what would your recommendations be to, to break those barriers? To do the programs like this, to actually go into schools and um, encourage young people, because I think by encouraging all young people, you, you know, you'll, you'll get the diversity and and also the the awareness we're very uh, subject driven in a way that our education system and actually a lot of the job roles out there we're in school we're not aware of because we're busy teaching so it's great to actually come in and we think about app developers and we think about testers and we think about programmers but there's all the other aspects as well which actually unless industry comes into education and helps us show the students what the breadth of roles are out there. Um, you know, it's very easy for students to just go into sort of like a very sort of set path. So by having programs like this, coming into schools and having the industry come and talk to it, to the students and inspire them is, you know, a fantastic opportunity. Hence the reason why we yeah. decided to, to run in the whole year eight. The, the program. And, and I've seen, like you saw today from all the groups, but the, the kind of tech for good that the girls and the boys yeah. were able to actually decide on something that was meaningful to them. Yeah. And I've seen that a lot just around the world that when you go and talk to children about tech, you've got to connect the dots. And I think you guys did that really well uh, in what you were doing with your particular application, but across the board, the things yeah. that we saw today, yeah. which I think inspired them yes. even more, because it was yeah. the thing that they were passionate about, yes. which teaches them along the way. Yes, yeah. So, so we love tech. I, mean, I was introduced at, 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 at age 12 with a C prompt and learned basic. Yeah. Kids today, you learn tech when you, before you can speak, you're you know, punching <laughs> you know, devices. But so what was the tech behind what you were doing? Were you, were you programming? Were you using cloud technologies? What was behind it? Um, we mainly used more simple technology and it, the most of the work was um, just making PowerPoint presentations and Word documents. Mm -hmm. But obviously there were side things like we made the surveys on Word. Um, we, made, we used Photoshop to make prototypes of the screens for the app. And we learned a lot of technology at the boot camp as well. Um, we learned about the different kind of things we could use to make um, features of the app work 
and we learned about obviously Amazon were like the leaders of the um, program. You learned about S3 storage, right? Yeah. You learned about EC2. Yeah. You learned about all the applications yeah. in AWS that you could build it because at the end, as you build it, you'll use hopefully all those technologies yeah. is what we'll, we'll be helping you with. You know what I love about this story though is, and Teresa, you know this, you can do almost anything with tech. Now sometimes yeah. it's too expensive or yeah. too complicated, but the tech in many ways is the least important. The, it's more important to understand what the, the consumer wants, what the customer yeah. wants, what that yeah. experience is like, what the colors should be, yeah. right? And then you can make the tech, apply the tech to solve yes, that problem. Yes, 100%. So, yeah. And put all those tools together. But I do hope that you learned what cloud computing was during your, because that, that was, I always kind of joke because a lot of the students at the beginning, they use it, but they don't yeah. always know what cloud computing is. So kind of learning the scalability and how yeah. the ease and testing and just moving fast. Yes. So yes. And I think that's what you guys have done in a big way. From a teacher's point of view, are, are there other aspects that you think uh, that should be done, like either continued or done even better or faster that we're not getting to? Um, this is definitely a step in the right direction. Um, we are a bit more traditional because we introduce the students to Python. Yeah. So they sort of start programming using Python and perhaps we should look more at cloud technology in greater detail in, in schools, but yeah. we're kind of a little bit behind in in terms of education in yeah. the way that we actually, which we need, and we need to speed that, speed yeah. that up. And, and this is one of the big things that we're trying to do on the AWS side is bring the new technologies yes, yes. into education because that is the highlight of what we see is they're still using kind of older, outdated technologies and getting them excited to understand how they learn with and utilize new technologies within AWS and a cloud platform because yeah. you can move faster, experiment, yeah, yeah. have quick failures and recoveries, and the expense is you know, a lot less expensive than you normally did. Well, I've been yeah. ar around a long time. What, what, the, way, the reason, AWS changed the world, and it changed it from a world where technology, especially information technology and enterprises, was a world of no. Yeah. We can't true, do that because true. it'll take too long, it's too expensive, no, no, no. And what Amazon has done is sort of removed all that friction. And yeah. turned it into a it's world true. of yes, yeah, you know, exactly. and builders, and it's just amazing what's happening. You are the future, and uh, <laughs> it's really such a pleasure uh, having thank you both uh, today. So thank you, thank and, you, uh, and Charlotte, and of course yeah. Teresa. Thank yeah. you guys for it's coming. It's an on honor. I agree. It's an honor to co-host, but to have you guys and hear your passion and excitement for what you're doing. So my advice: keep it up. Don't give up. Stick with technology and STEM. You will not regret it. It's you a great career. And, and have fun. All right, yeah, thanks again. Thank you. thank you. All right, and thank you for watching. Keep it right there. We'll be back with our next guest. We're live from the Excel Center here at AWS Summit London. You're watching theCUBE.